word. Welcome to the B side word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devon and I'm here with Emma. Hi. I'm here with AJ. What's up? And I'm here with Siege. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, How's everyone? Can, we, you got a, your, your frappe is uh, making your throat itchy, isn't it? Yeah. Can we start again? Because like, when I said hi, I was like, <laughs> can no, we do that again? No, we're not going to start again. Oh, please. No. This next article is so intriguing. I've titled it Million Dollar Dan. Yeah. This is your one, Dev. Yeah. Right. This Aussie guy, Dan Saunders lives about three hours north of Melbourne, was out one night with his mates. Yeah, as you do. And he accidentally stumbled on a way to basically siphon money. I thought you were going to say uh, a lamp. Hmm? In the way that you the way you were starting that story, I thought he was going to stumble Stumbled upon. on a genie lamp. Yeah, genie. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> siphon money from the bank. Okay. Yeah. I'll get into the details, but over a four to five month period, he managed to get money that wasn't his. He lived the high life Mm. until he turned himself in. We'll get into what happened. Ready? Yeah. Why would you turn himself in? Well, we'll get into it. (laughs) So I have to, I have to actually go verbatim what he said, because even I'm a bit confused with how it actually worked, the ins and outs. So he goes, well, I was on a night out. Trying to get a balance on my account. But it kept on giving the message that it said balance unavailable at this time. Okay. So I transferred $200 from my credit account to my savings and it said transaction cancelled. And it just spat the card back out. So I was like, that's so strange. So he then decided to try and get the 200 out of his savings account just to see what would happen and it gave him the money (laughs) so basically just to reiterate he'd tried to do a balance check it said unavailable so i guess maybe he went on his phone and transferred 200 from his credit card credit like an advance advance on the credit whatever Yeah, yeah or from his credit account yeah into his savings account yeah but it said no sorry it's cancelled transaction but then when he tried to get that 200, it actually gave it to him, right? right? So he thought, hmm, odd. But he went back to partying with his friends. After he left the bar, he was walking past the same ATM, cash point. And he was like, hmm, I was thinking about how strange that earlier transaction was. So I thought I'd start playing around again, right? So he transferred another 200 and it let him get the money out again. But it said cancelled. Yeah, same exact thing. Yeah. Then he transferred 500. Then he transferred 600 just to see what would happen. Yeah. And he was kind of like tipsy and bored. So he was just like, ah, oh, I was just pushing the envelope to see what happened. And it was like a magic trick. All this money just kept coming out, right? A magic trick. <laughs> so he goes home. Next morning, he thought well, it was a dream. But he yeah. checked his wallet and there was 2,000. There was like cash in there. Yeah. And he was like, uh-huh. wait, what? Wow. So he calls up the bank and get, or he calls up and like phone bank and gets a balance. Yeah. And it said it was... His savings account was $2,000 in debt, right? Well, his savings account. Yeah. Yeah. So he thought, okay, there's been a lag between what the ATM gave me and what my bank balance was. This is where I get confused, which meant that whatever I spent, I could cover it by doing a simple transfer every night between my credit account and my savings account. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm lost. That's where I kind of got lost. Yeah. He goes, I was creating the money by doing a transfer between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. because that's when the he realized ATMs go offline. Right. And as long as he stayed ahead, so basically, so on the first day he spent two thousand, but on the second day he transferred four thousand to make sure his balance didn't stay negative. The transfer at night would go through, but then it would reverse one day later. Uh huh. I'm huh? lost. I'm a bit lost. Where was he transfer? Where was he getting four thousand dollars from? I don't know. 
He's got zero. And, and on top, and on top of that, wait. So he, t- but he took out two grand the first time, and then he was in two grand debt. So where's this extra money coming from? These yeah. like when he takes out four grand, won't he just now be in six grand debt? Yeah. No. So okay. So I'm still continuing, but we're still. I was just thinking if you're following. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I was getting confused too. The transfer. I, lo- I love the fact that we're we're not following, but we're continuing anyway. <laughs> Basically, if you stay ahead of that reversal by doing another one, you trick the system into thinking you have money you don't have. Right. So he tricked the system into thinking he had millions. So he but ended up this, spending one point six million dollars. So on his uh, savings, it, it says his. minus one point six million. No, it no. Said so he had get, okay, I think I get it. I think account. I get it. Uh, I think I okay. get it. I think what's right. happened is yeah. because there's a twenty four hour lag and because he was doing it all the time, at the point that it would realize and reset he's now transferred more money in which means when it's trying to reset it's recognizing a value instead so instead of saying you're in deficit it's saying oh so <clears throat> let's use a number so he puts in 2000 24 hours later he goes well you're 2000 in debt yeah but if in that 24 hours instead he put in the 4000 it would recognize 4000 instead of go oh there's, there's just 4000 in here like it didn't the recognizing the debt never happened because he was putting the money in before it recognized like every time between um, one and three oh. between one so every 24 so he had to do it every 20 i get i don't know i'm just it, this is what makes sense in my head he had to do it every 24 hours so that it never read a negative total because if he didn't then it would read the negative total yeah but where is he how is he getting the money to transfer into that's what i don't get so, so what i'm guessing what i'm get getting from this is the money like the money that he chooses the, the value that he chooses is completely irrelevant like he could say whatever number he wants and it would just allow him to withdraw that much money so it's almost just like it doesn't matter where the money's stored he's just typing in a number on the atm yes. and it's feeding him that much money what you're saying is 100 percent right because he so basically he, he it was 1.6 million right right lived the high life right right he right. partied a lot of this money he went on holidays lavish he would he paid off his friends uni debts and and and, and yeah, like did yeah. things for his family right his his friends knew what was happening some of them were like oh i don't think you should do this or i don't want any part of this and others were like yeah keep doing it right? <laughs> but after a while he started to feel guilty and he like sort of lost his sense of self like who am i because i don't think his direct family knew like what was yeah, what yeah, was yeah, happening yeah. so one day he decided to call the bank and fess up to them. Yeah. And, and they go, oh, okay, well, this is going to have to be a police matter now. And he was like, he, they're like, we'll be in touch. Two years passed and no one, he hadn't heard from anyone. You know what? But in that he, whole time. Was the was, bank like, oh, shit. I he, don't know. He fooled us. And if we expose this. <laughs> And people, people will know how to take $1.6 million. I don't life. know, but for two years, he was like looking over his shoulder and thinking, oh my God, any time, like he'd wake up in a cold sweat thinking like the SWAT team was coming in and it was getting so much, he started getting anxiety. Really? He had to see a psychiatrist. The first psychiatrist was like, I'm not trained for this, right? <laughs> and the second psychiatrist was like, okay, I think you need to turn yourself wow. in because that's the only way you're going to clear your yeah. conscience and move what? on. What is this guy? What what um the good? Oh, guy by have the a way, he was a bartender before this. Twenty two dollar an hour. Yeah, no, but like there's That's heaps of people that go going. to uni, they go they still that, do bartending. That, that was just his job. He wasn't like some I don't know. But did he learn finance or something? Don't say. Do not say. Don't think so. What's his name? But Dan Saunders. So instead of going to the police, right? He's like, all right, I'm going to turn myself in. I'll go to the media, and he did a current affair. He did like all these media stuff and it was only through that <laughs> he started being taken seriously. And then the police were like, oh, okay, we better actually <laughs> look into what the hell's going on. Um, so he went to court. Oh, and this whole time he was, he was asked, did you feel guilty? Like, did you feel guilty about what you were doing? And he yeah. was like, I didn't because I knew it wasn't anyone else's money that like I wasn't stealing from someone else and they're missing that money. Yeah. It was like, it was like the money never existed. It was just numbers. Like what Alexander said, it was just like numbers. It didn't really exist. Yeah. So I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was taking from someone. Yeah. 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 yeah that's what you were saying. Anyway, he went to court, the judge and everyone in the court was so confused and by what the hell he'd done. They were like so perplexed apparently in the court. They were just like, uh. yeah, it was the judge taking notes. 
He's like, so, <laughs> so what did you do between one and three? Do I have to go one and three? Is that where I have to go? Where, where, oh. Which street which, was which this ATM? ATM? <laughs> Apparently, this one is not all warning. ATMs, by the way. This is not all ATMs. This so is a so which one? one. On, uh, on Miller, corner of Miller and <laughs> what suburb? <laughs> he ended up doing one year in jail and then he was out on an 18-month community corrections order. Did he have and to pay now, the 1.6? I don't think so. Now he's back to bartending. Yeah. Man, what? Ooh. But he was like, I couldn't. He goes, at one point, he was like, I could, if I would have, you know, ran away with the money, I'd have gone to live in Mallorca, Spanish island, and no one would have got me. But he was like, what would I have done? Like, live well, the life. He, he would have been screwed if he was there because the ATM wasn't there with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he'd be like, always like checking over his shoulder. He's like, that's no life. I've got to get back to myself. No. So, uh, I would have had a, a couple of suitcases full of money. <laughs> would you isn't it weird that the bank didn't follow up in two years he, like he told he called the bank and told them yeah because like you said like it's pretty much telling the bank uh you're an idiot i can take your money whenever i want to <laughs> yeah but right do you and think like it's... and like the bank's not going to be like no i'm smarter than you <laughs> like their pride you know they were like nah i don't know what you're talking about nah no nah, you didn't take shit from me <laughs> Yeah, but do you think like it was just that person that he spoke to and they're like, I'm so confused by the whole thing. I'm not even, I'm to going be, to lunch. <laughs> or, to be honest, it could be confusion. Yeah. Could be confusion. Would but, you yeah. sacrifice or to live the, like, I say, let's say two million, just round it up. You get two million to live the lifestyle of two million for, for six months, but then you have to go to jail for a year. Is that, would you, would you take that? What jail? Yes. What jail? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like Emma, so, so Emma's a yes, and you two are what jail? Okay. Well, um, no, I don't, I don't well, want to. Because we know what happens in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I mean, if you're going to jail for a year, 12 months, I'm assuming it's like probably a local jail. Like it's not a penitentiary of any white collar extreme measure white collar white jail? collar yeah, yeah. I, i'm guessing so uh, oh yeah it's, know, a yeah, it's a financial it's a financial crime <laughs> yeah, and it's right. yeah only a right. year. sweet yeah, yeah. <laughs> see you right here <laughs> yeah it's all right one year he was like you going crazy? he was I'm like going on yachts and literally <laughs> the high life he said people treat you so different when they realize you have money he went into the bank just to the teller to get a balance check and she was all like yeah before and then she saw his how much was in his account it was millions and she was like like her whole demeanor change. Yeah, and, mm. I wouldn't. It was like would you, you just get treated go so to different. the bank in that situation? I wouldn't want to raise because, like if you're spending the money at this point. Like, yeah, you wouldn't want to put any attention on you. Surely, like that's that's my biggest question, right? So this guy working as a bartender, twenty two. By the way, twenty two. What what country is this? Australia. Australia. Okay, twenty two. Okay, it's not as much as I thought it was in. Mm. But twenty two dollars an hour bartender. This man, you know, living his life. Now all of a sudden he starts living luxury. Like, how how do you make that jump and not cause any suspicion? I don't any know. Yeah. yeah, how are you buying stuff with cash? Like you're buying like a car with cash. That's like that's red flag. They report it but these days. Do they now? Do if you buy yeah. with cash now? Because yeah, before they never no, used no, to. If, if you walk up with fifty grand in cash, they they, they, they will put down you bought it in cash. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I th yeah, I don't think they're going to raise too much attention to it because it's cash that they have. Yeah. Like that's I the bit in terms of the 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 I'm talking about like the dealership. That's that's their money now. Yeah. Like they're not going to want to lose the, that. <laughs> you reckon the dealership's going to uh, put up a fast siege? No. Nah. Yeah. But you're eventually going to get pulled over a police officer. <laughs> it isn't like, "Oh, nice Mercedes Benz." How did you buy this? <laughs> mm. When people would ask him what his job was because he had so much money because he used to shout everything, he'd be like, oh, he'd just have to lie to you. He'd be like, oh, I'm an investment banker or oh, I'm this and that, whatever. Yeah. And he just told so many different stories. Yeah, but you can say it's your mum's. Car. It's my mum's. Yeah. It's my mum's car. What, your mom, what does your mum do? Oh, car. Oh. I thought you meant the money. <laughs> <laughs> you go, oh, she's a drug dealer. investment banker. She's a drug dealer. <laughs> but isn't it oh, interesting? Sorry. If he hadn't have handed himself in, he could... He could have still been, but the guilt just consumed him. I mean, he 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 didn't like try to. He did. He he went to the bank and he said, "I'm stealing your money." Yeah, I know. He tried to be honest yeah. about it. <laughs> it's so, so that's bizarre. A, from the from the sounds story. of it, now look, 
who knows this guy could have could be lying as far as he's he's the one who approached the media right so he's controlled the narrative in that sense he could be lying he could have known exactly what was going on he could have felt absolutely no remorse whatever and was just like this is getting way out of hand i just don't <laughs> want to get into more trouble yeah. um but let's take him for his word let's assume that you know he really he just got caught up in it he really did feel guilty he turned himself in because of it all that kind of stuff that hmm. would make him a really normal person yeah what what if or not what if i wonder if if there's any like people who just don't have that sense of remorse who have stumbled across things like this oh and they're still going they're still doing yeah. it i wouldn't have well, known if it happened Ferrari to me i, got up from my house I wouldn't have now, known what would have nice. happened <laughs> <laughs> i just bought the new ferrari a new porsche um <laughs> if cj starts like rocking up in <laughs> just with all this new stuff if we check our bank uh, our um, home repayments and there's nothing it's zero we're like what happened here who gave, who gave us this gift oh <laughs> thank you cctv cctv footage of cj trying every different atm at 1am like across the city <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> cross it off the list <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh goodness so would you all right, so would you lag yourself in? No. Lag yourself? Yeah, like that lag. guy. Like, oh, mm, dob no. yourself dob in. Dob yourself in? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I couldn't. I would definitely. Nah. No, I, I would I would go definitely. to the bank one day and say, I want to close my account. Can you please transfer over money from this account to that account to a different bank? So once it's closed, they can't be minus anymore. Yeah. No, nah, oh. that wouldn't work. Why? I, pro- I promise you that wouldn't work because the moment you do that, they would have to open your account and then see you went from earning like a grand a month to being a millionaire, and that would oh, immediately yeah. raise questions. Wait, I'm, saw, so, I'm confused again. So wait, so it showed he had millions, but the next day, if he didn't continue to transfer, it would be minus that. I, I like, think so. I think so he just has to say like minus million. Any amount. I don't. I, I don't know. It's like I'm guessing. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I, I mean. Think like, he's a transfer. He does a so transfer. So if he forgets yeah. to transfer, does it say zero? Like I mean, okay. minus. Uh, I think the way it worked was this, right? When he tries to transfer with credit, it transfers, but it gets cancelled, right? So the money gets put in, but the credit doesn't charge him. Yeah. So if he doesn't take the money out and just leaves it in his account, he can keep doing it. Yeah. So how does he oh, take the money out? Oh, right. Because when he, tra- when he transfers right. it, it cancels. <laughs> so it's co- according yeah. to the credit account, the money went but came back. But according yes. to the account that he's right. transferring it to, the money arrived okay. and never left. Okay. Never left. So that's how he got the 4000 So <coughs> like he put the $2,000 back and, in. And, and, and then he and said- the reason why he went minus the first time, because he took the money out straight away. Yeah, if he well, left if it he in there. for it to actually go through. It would just be his money now. It'll be his right. money. I'm still uh, yeah, that makes sense. Explain to me after. So like, so like, instead of taking the money out, so because like he's transferred two thousand dollars across, right? And then on the receipt it said cancelled. Because he didn't have the money. Why was it cancelled? No, like you know, he went from credit to his normal account. He transferred two thousand dollars, right? But on the receipt it said cancelled. So it didn't like it didn't um it say it said Register. it didn't go through, but it actually did go through. So when the um, bank, the credit card, sees the actual account and he'll say, oh, it was just a cancelled thing. Do you know what I mean? So they're giving him money without w- wanting oh, anything okay. back from it. Back. He's getting free credit. And the reason basically. why he got charged the 2000 the first time, because he, he pulled the money out before one thirty. Yes. So, so if he does it at one thirty, pulls the money out after one thirty, it's his money now. Yes. No, after three. Yes, yeah, between whatever, one and three. Yeah, after yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, there we that's go. how we got 1.5 million. Wow. That's crazy. crazy. I wonder like, what the biggest single transaction he tried to make was. You, you would make like, massive, massive. To, you wouldn't make but, massive ones because you bring too much. A grand, 2,000. Yeah, but yeah. if you think. But if you if do you, it every day. <clears throat> if you say a grand, just to give you an idea, 1.5 million is 
1,500 days worth of a grand's transactions. Guys, like, it, that, this was not... only over five months as well. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, it didn't happen over very... So he must have been transferring thousands at a time. Yeah, I think you can transfer up to like nine, uh, up to under 10,000 and it would not alarm the bank. Yeah, depending on the account, depending what alarms you have on the account. Because if, yeah. if you put... If, if you, to give you an this is just top of the head maths. If you did 10,000 a day, that would still take you what 150 days which is nearly half a year so this like he would he would that's what i'm saying like he would have had to I, I think he must have been able to transfer more like he he would have had to he really threw push it to lavish parties he chartered private jets paid off university fees for his mates so he must have been doing l- big transfers wow but but if you do like a nine thousand transfer one day a nine thousand transfer the next day 18 grand 27 it builds up. And he's probably getting interest on it as well. <sighs> Man. I don't know. I'd be paying people to wash it. How are you gonna wash it? Yeah. Clean like it. Mattress. So, mattress no, store. I get um I get people just to I'll give them nine thousand dollars cash and I'll go go to the pokies. See what you can You can't wash it, it's in your account. No, you you he was That's spending true. it. No no no, no, no but what's CJ saying? It. You can't wash the money if it's already been in your account. Yeah. If you take out nine thousand, put nine thousand back right, in. Right, 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 it's right, right. not washed. They, yeah, they, you yeah, just yeah. took it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can't wash it. Mm. Yeah, there's no. If you get found out, there's no way back. No, That's, it's such a no quite similar. Back. There was. Ah. I, d- I do not know the details of this in any stretch of the imagination. Someone just tweeted about it, and I thought it was interesting. Um, but they, you know, the stimulus checks they get in America at the moment. Yeah. 1200 yeah. 1200 bucks the government's sending to everyone whatever apparently someone got eight and a half million put into their account by accident oh my god and um i i have no idea what the consequence what of that happened? story is whatever but similar what was his name similar, donald trump jr <laughs> similar situation and like in if that kind of thing happened like now this is a government giving you money directly to your account what what, what do you do you uh, get you get into trouble if you. But, don't but I don't get it. Like, how did they? Like, there's not even. It's not even twelve million. It's like eight and a half million. <laughs> like, it's not. Like, I don't know how he made the mistake. <laughs> I don't know. There's like, like, it's not even a twelve in there. You know this bank guy. So I, this bit's a bit funny. He goes. So I never contacted the police. I just stopped doing the transfers. Contacted the bank. That's when he contacted the bank. This was back in June and July two thousand eleven. They told me, it's a police matter now. We can't talk to you. They'll contact you. You're in a lot of trouble. And then, <laughs> that's, right? Did she have her finger out? <laughs> You're in a lot of trouble. And then he was going to, because he was going to tell them, I've got 80 grand in a, in a Hilton laundry bag. You're welcome to take it. But then he heard nothing for two years. But he couldn't really move on because he was like, wait, they told me I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but I'm like, wait, wait so did he just hold on to this bag? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess he thought nothing's happening and that's why that's like, that's oh. something i'm definitely doing though if i'm in his situation and i turn myself in and i know something's coming down the line before <laughs> i turn myself in i'm taking out a bunch of cash and just like, oh, living yeah. the best life possible until i'm arrested <laughs> no no to, to, to be honest with you I, I would do the year in jail but before that i'm stashing 1.2 million somewhere somewhere <laughs> to, so when i get out it's worth it uh, yeah, I wonder if I wonder then, how many of his friends. Then did I have it. to clean that money. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how many of his friends did it. Yeah, and he said, "I thought I was going to get completely like, like he said reamed, but like in in court, like he thought he was going to get so badly like, yeah, 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 laid into. But it was weird because no one understood it, not the judge, not the prosecutor. So it was just a really odd." environment <laughs> there was like loads of blank looks I, I, like i'm pretty i'm, <laughs> like, I'm so like hardly any intrigued evidence. by how he just like he, he he summed it up so quickly yeah i know i don't know like he's like i feel like i can take you lot, of, you lot have all proven to me that the sentence wasn't harsh enough because all three of you said that you would make that trade off <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So what, what i would do is i'll, I'll get the money yeah enjoy myself Start taking it out and stashing it. Yeah. yeah. Now we so know what you, you've told millionaire. us. You've told us. Yeah, but you're, definitely you're, a time this is the same. This is the same as your washing theory, though. Siege. They would like at the moment you're going to prison. They're going to do a balance check of all the money that was taken out and where it is. Yeah, I spent <laughs> it. I spent it. 
But this guy didn't. You're saying this guy didn't have to pay it back. No. He goes, I felt like Who's Macaulay he? Culkin after Home Alone 2. Even if you have to pay it back, you Who's claim he bankruptcy back and you're cleared. Yeah. Yeah, but it was no one's but, money. It was just like... Yeah, who would it, where would it go? From thin air. It's such a it's such a thing. Like, oh man. I, hey, hey, Ern, did, did, if I ever figured it out, figure it out, you will know. I, I <laughs> know. There'll be, I know there'll I be know. one day... I have a uni debt. <laughs> Hold these bags for me, bro. <laughs> I'm I've doing two years. I'll be back to pick up the bags. <laughs> <laughs> this bag's for you <laughs> it's like don't open it okay <laughs> okay and okay the ki- and then one day <laughs> okay. we come into the living room and the kids are like doing snow angels in money <laughs> <laughs> i just said just in um in in money thank you uncle sage <laughs> <laughs> get out of prison and has got like four ferraris on my dude <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick one. Quick one. This is another revenge one by parents. I'm pretty sure we've covered before parents revenge oh, on their is, kids. Is this my one? This is CJ's one. Yeah. <laughs> um, NBA player Kendrick Perkins. Kendrick. Do we know him? Yeah. Yeah. He played Champion about 15 years all up. Yeah. He first played for the Cavaliers, but he did have a championship with the Celtics in 2008. Made $90 million throughout his NBA career. Anyway. <laughs> Unnecessary um, information. Oh, you know, a little bit of facts here and there. Um, So he one day went to buy something from a shop and his credit card declined. And he was like, what? So he gets this. He got That'd be so embarrassing. I know. So he got the bank bank card in. And he'd seen that his kids had racked up $16,000 on Fortnite purchases. $16,000. Yeah. Ropeable. And he was just like, what? Right? Uh, he hates video games anyway. He does. Yeah. Huh. Fortnite's a free game, but it's just in-app purchases. You need all these skins or whatnot. So yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, anyway, so when he realized what had happened, him and his wife, Vanity, went and got a a cheap um, PlayStation. Yeah. Just like a $30 one from like a secondhand place. They threw it in the pool in the backyard. And they hid the real PlayStation, right? So when the kids came home from school, they saw the PlayStation, their PlayStation was in the pool and they left it there for a week. And every time the kids went out, they'd like burst into tears. <laughs> and he was like, I loved every second of it. That was, I just thought that's pretty good revenge. Like, uh, uh, that's true. I like that. Um, but I 16, mean, 16,000 for us 16, is different. 16,000 for him is pittance. Obviously, right? it's not because he's like, what the? F-? Well, yeah. Six, but if I think it was, 16 no, but, grand is 16 grand at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, to anybody, you're yeah. like, what 16, the? 16 grand. I find it, I think the, the wildest thing about that to me is how there's 16 grand's worth of stuff to buy on a game. Uh, like, how, how much is have? each individual thing? I <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many. For some reason, I'm thinking two, but I don't know. But they unless um, he, they were giving it away, like you get a skin, you get a skin. <laughs> Maybe they thought that the Oprah the, the of Fortnite. The Oprah of Fortnite, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets a skin. <laughs> but actually, I think he, I think he was able to get the money back because he said, you know how iTunes. we did, yeah. yeah. I think he said this wasn't my purchase, like. But uh, hold on, the, the kids buy something stupid. Oh my! Oh yeah, gosh. Alice did. We told you, did we not? Oh my gosh. Talk to me. I absolutely. Ours, my, our mine elder, spent my eldest about. Kid, our eldest kid did not want to come near me for like a week. I think it was because I didn't say anything, but he could see the steam coming off my head when I found <laughs> out. Twelve hundred. I don't what know. What did he spend it on? I think it was about one thousand two hundred or something. Right. <laughs> and it was on um what game? I don't know they don't, what they game. Don't play Fortnite. Nice. It was. Emma oh, said, Emma told me. Else. Emma said. Leave the house. That was like, just <laughs> don't talk to him. He said he's he, he like Aiden said. I like Aiden said. I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't know. Ra ra. Because they I don't said, know. He's like eight, right? He doesn't know that it's actual money. He, it just says buy this, right? It says buy it. He yeah. knows. He knew my um, pin or whatever it was for other stuff, <laughs> just for downloading games, and it was the same one. So he's like, all right. And it's just racking it up, racking it up. Oh, and, I'm, yeah. and then I looked at my card. I'm like, what? 
how am I, what? And then I didn't even know what it was. I thought someone hacked my account. I even, I even stopped my card. Like I stopped my card. I lost it. I and, lost. Yeah. But we got the money Dude, back. That, that game would be gone, man. Never to be seen again. I can't even remember what it was. I don't think they played. I think no. they didn't play games for a, a week. Yeah, we... No, no, we oh, two weeks the, the, or whatever. That game would be smashed in pieces. The if, iPad? If, if No, but get this. If oh, the was, iPad? They'll have no more iPad. My no, but like <laughs> if he was older, like a teenager and knew, and knew, knew more about the whole gaming thing, uh, it would have been worse. But I feel like he, he legitimately didn't yeah, know. because Emma, Emma calmed me down and said, he doesn't know. And I'm like... What do you mean he doesn't know? He well, was, today oh. he's going to find out. <laughs> he was beside himself. He was so sorry. But, yeah, I've changed my password. I've not given it to him since. And I'm more aware. Because I was always like, I'd never be that parent who's whatever. I always thought that. Like, how does this happen? How does it happen? And it must happen a lot because Apple are like, oh, yeah, we'll reverse it for you. <laughs> but I yeah, think, I, like, they I, only do that try. once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just tried looking um, to see if like there was a, a yearly total figure, so I couldn't find it. But there was when I searched, oh. there was a lot, a lot of articles of yeah. parents. Yeah, I think it's a this. once off. Someone told me they 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 got told by Apple, we'll do it for you this time, but you know now, so next time we yeah. won't. But I don't know. Maybe it's case by case. Maybe they should put it in the leaf that they give to you when you have a kid. From hospital. <laughs> yeah. Thing, yeah, things to watch out for. <laughs> but who, who, who reads the terms and conditions, Alexander? <laughs> who reads the terms and conditions? No one does. <laughs> uh... Okay, I think we should do a quarantine news update to see what's the happenings. In quarantine, nothing to do with the actual news, but you know what people have been up to, right? Yeah, 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 of course. So there's this one Tumblr user, I think she goes by the name Rainbow Carolina or Carolina. Yeah. Rainbow Carolina. Don't even know what Tumblr is, by the way. It's a picture. What? I don't. I, I'm really bad with social media. It's a photo thingy. Photo. Tumblr's old school. Yeah, it's a blog for photos. Oh, okay. So this, she's a, a biology major in college and she realized she'd missed an assignment day. Mm. So she sent an email to her professor and this is what it said. Hello, Phil. I'm emailing you about our amino acid report that was due on Friday. Because of the actual pandemic we're in, I assume that we were no longer keeping track of time or days. And honestly, I couldn't tell you how long it's been <laughs> since I've even remembered experiencing a Friday. Honestly, I'm now only aware of Wednesdays and that's just because survivors on on Wednesdays got to have something to provide structure to your life, you know? I finished <laughs> the assignment sometime around this Friday thing and I was hoping you'd be chill enough to accept it. I don't wow. need like full credit, but honestly, my report is a bop. So I'd appreciate at least not failing. A, hope bop, you, a <laughs> bop is good. Hope not? you and the fam are staying healthy and safe. Thanks, Hannah. Response. What a ballsy email. <laughs> well, Response. what's a bop? Is <laughs> bop good or not? Yeah, Hannah, bop. I read your report and I do agree it was a bop. However, I did have to ask my daughter what a bop was. <laughs> I, I also don't know. <laughs> I will not deduct points for being late on this occasion because your report was exemplary and your email was the only interesting thing to happen this week. <laughs> In the future, I recommend looking at your calendar on your phone screen or, or, or your phone screen, at screen as it should still have a date on it. Thank you for your concern about the health of my family and I. We are doing well. Best, Professor C. And then she posted it and she was like, come through, Phil. <laughs> so just, Brilliant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Need a speak guard. Hashtag my man, my man. Yeah. You've got to well, you've got to have good. a relationship with your teacher just to yeah, even start yeah. your email. Dear Phil. <laughs> <laughs> hey Phil. So she hey, did Phil. say hashtag, by the way, I actually know Phil. I've had him for a lot of classes. We're close. Don't worry. I don't email other professors like this. I wonder like it would have been uh you know if he if she sent an email and said, Hey Phil Dog. You know, that's how you know you're really close Phil to the professor. Hey, big Philly. Yo. Big Philly. Mm, mm, mm. Um, Brilliant. Um, uh, the, losing track of days is, yeah. is 
is a is thing. Real. It's a thing. So I, I actually have a theory on this. Um, because of quarantine and lockdown life, like my idea is that every day is a week. So you wake up and it's Monday. It's like, oh no! Like what? We, what? What is this? What is this? What are we doing? <laughs> And you go you go through your morning Tuesday and then you get lunch Wednesday. You know, things get a little bit lighter on a Wednesday, don't they? It's always like, oh, <laughs> still got the rest of the week to go, don't you? <laughs> so then you get into your afternoon, Thursday, your attention's waning. It's really not there. You get to the end of the day, Friday, look at that clock, five. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> and then you get to your your evening. That's, that's a bit after work. It's your Saturday. You're like, oh, perfect. You know, I get to relax. Don't have to think about work and all that. And then it starts to get towards the night. You're like, I've got to wake up in the morning. It's Sunday. So that's <laughs> that's your week in one day. <laughs> yeah. I uh cuz I had the week off, not from quarantine, just having a week off and it was I realized I am a hermit. I love being by myself. Like enclosed and not having to have to go anywhere. Yeah. I am I am I didn't realize this about myself, but I I don't like going out. I don't like talking to people. Actually, I knew this about myself. I was lying to myself. <laughs> I was going to say, we, we, we all knew this. Yeah. <laughs> but I really enjoyed, like, this you would thrived. be my perfect holiday. Yeah. Like, doing nothing for a week. Yeah. I guess because I've been... No, what you, you've been going, oh, 11 o'clock, I'm going to do some gardening. And you've actually been doing gardening. Yeah. And then you come in and you chill again. You get your nice meal. You come in, you get your Netflix. I, do you want something to eat? I, I, yeah. I make you some... I've liked this, Dev. <laughs> it's just because work preoccupies Quarantine. so much of my mind. In other quarantine news, yeah, Jazz Mott and her husband, Aussies, uh, Gary, Jazz and Gary, Jazzy Gary. Gaza. Um, Wait. Oh, Jazz and Gaza. Jazz and Gaza. So <laughs> they're from uh, Victoria <laughs> yeah. State. I can't believe Gary got it. And <laughs> they got slapped with a fine yeah. of $1,652 each for breaching travel um, restrictions yeah. after posting a picture of a holiday snap. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> this picture was from last year, <laughs> like last June. It was just an old snap that had been, they reposted. <laughs> And yeah. either someone had dobbed him in or the police were like, you know, going through social media and they actually fined them. But then they obviously withdrew the fine after realising, um, <laughs> you know, you get those, yeah, memories. remember what happened yeah, last yeah, year's yeah. time or whatever. Yeah. Good old guys. I know. And then Can't finally in our last piece of quarantine news, good old lady, 93 year old woman from um, America, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Olive Veronesi <laughs> got down to her last 12 cans of beer. Yes. She has a can of beer a day. Yeah. Right? She has yeah. a cheek she 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 wrote a cheeky whiteboard message saying um need more beer. Need more beer. <laughs> and her daughter took a picture and they posted it. It went viral. She was drinking Cause Light. Is it Cause? Cause yeah. Light. One they, beer a day and she's 93 years old. They caught wind of it. Not bad. Good on her. Not and bad. And sent her 150 cans of beer. And then she posted another pic saying, got more beer. She goes, yeah, it's got, you know, vitamins in it. As long as you don't drink too much of it, it's, it's fine for you. <laughs> it's got vitamins in yeah. it. Vitamins. There you go. Yeah. So I've got one one quarantine news just because I don't know if you guys know about this, but it was, it was big news over here. Um mm. There is, I'm just going to read because I don't want to get it wrong. 99-year-old British War veteran. His mm. name is uh, Tom Moore. Captain Tom Moore. Oh, Captain. Um, so he he's 99 years old. He's about to turn 100, I think, in the next like m- month or a few days or whatever. So he, he set out to raise some money for the NHS. Um, so he wanted to do 100 laps around his garden. And oh. he'd set out to raise 1,250 um this this article's american so they've put dollars so i'm guessing it's right yeah a thousand pounds he wanted to raise um now this started to go like a little bit viral at the end of the week and i like i saw oh this guy's gonna you know walk he's walking and he's like he's he's actively going around walking he's got his like little zimmer frame he's going oh he's um, got a zimmer wow. frame yeah oh he's, he's 99 years old like yeah, do you think he's in like top tip shape <laughs> But he's, but anyway, like so he's he's doing this, and I saw the sort of wrap up of his last lap, and they had had them. There was the military. Um, they they were like lined up, almost like a what? Yeah. I saw it on the news. A Do guard. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. they lined yeah, yeah, up like yeah, a guard, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they they yeah. they're socially distanced in between them, and he's walking his final length from the Zimmer frame, walking to the end. 
He raised, in total, remember, £1,000 was his target. £14.2 million. <gasps> wow. Absolutely wow. incredible. What? So he's going to give a 1000 to the N- NHS. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Spend a year gonna, in jail. And he's going to Vegas with a big smile on his face. <laughs> oh, good on, good on the captain. That was his slogan. Catch me if you can. <laughs> so, sh- shout out to Captain Tom. We want me to we appreciate you. <laughs> That's awesome. Well done, Cap. Oh, I like that. So, that was this week's quarantine news. Dun, 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 dun. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Quarantine. <laughs> All right, Alexander, what's your article? So this one's quite an interesting one that's come out this week. Um, It's sports news. It's America-related. It's college sports, college basketball to be specific. Um, To give you an idea and a bit of a background when it comes to professional sports in America, the NBA, historically, you could go to the NBA at 18. Once you're 18, you know, you could be drafted straight out of high school as a professional player. But then um, I want to say around 2008, they put in the rule that you had to do at least one year post high school before entering the NBA. Um, and the big reason that everyone believes it's for is to promote them to go to college, which helps the college system because the NCAA, the Athletic Association, over the college sports system is a billion dollar organization. It makes a lot of money off TV viewings and then it helps, um, it, it will help that, that funnel through. Now, a lot of people have had a lot of issues with this because players like LeBron James, for example, came straight from high school. Um, and they're saying, why should you prevent a player like that going straight to the NBA and making the money that they could potentially make um, when you could get injured in, in college and never, never get a paycheck for playing? Kind of similar. And this, this really got raised concerns with Zion Williamson, who was the number one draft pick last year. He got injured towards the end of his, for his year in college. And like that, again, brought out the concerns of should they be sacrificing a, a multi-million dollar body for playing for free when they could be getting paid millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wow, yeah. So the NBA has a development league called the G League. Now the G League has they've said they're going to. Well, the NBA has said they're going to put together a players program for high schoolers, so they can go to the G League in the developmental league in a professional developmental league instead and play there for a year before they go into the NBA. Um, now you've seen people take different routes, like Lamelo Ball. He went to Australia for the past year, and RJ Hampton went there as well, and. It's, it's starting to become this conversation of should players go to college, play for absolutely free to go to the NBA, or should they go overseas? People have gone, should they go to the G League? Now, the G League was probably the least thought of route. Like, people are like, ah, oh, I don't know, it's a developmental league. It's not as good. You don't get as much exposure. If you're playing overseas, you're probably going to be playing with, um, you're probably going to get more opportunity to shine, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, college, college just the way everyone's always gone. Now, G League did something this week which has completely changed the entire game. So I can't remember his name. I've got it here somewhere. Um, one of the players, the top prospect, Jalen Green, he's believed to be probably the number one picked in 2021 for the NBA. He signed a deal with a G League team for, now the number's been disputed, um, but the number that I believe it is is 500,000 contract. So $500,000. Wow. Fine. You know, you're going to get paid a lot. Obviously, that's a big incentive to not go to college, but you don't get the college experience, you don't get education, blah, blah, blah. They're also tacking along with his salary a full scholarship to get a degree. So wow. now what he's like, his stance is there's literally no point in me going to college at this point. Like, why would I go? I'm going to get paid. I'm also going to get the education anyway. And then I'm going to be playing in a professional league where they're going to focus on my personal development because I'm a top prospect they're gonna I'm I'm gonna be playing against grown men. I'm gonna get used to the professional lifestyle, like all these kinds of things, all benefits, but that scholarship really like tips the scale. Um, Wait, but where does he do his schooling at then? It does it's just the same like if you think about it, there's no difference between being a professional basketball player and being a college basketball player, except for oh, college, okay. you have to go I to class. What you mean. Like in terms of the work ethic, all that kind of stuff. So if he like he could take online classes, he could he could attend. Oh, it's a scholarship. Okay. He can go anywhere. Like I don't I don't know if they've put stipulations on it. Like this is very mm. new news. But like if you think about oh, it, that's amazing. That's pretty cool. Just but the opportunity. The, the reason that he could- I saw like something further to that one day ago, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver 
was saying he was he was a little bit jealous and getting a bit upset of players going overseas like Lamelo and RJ that came over here, and they want to put a stop to that. So that's why they they're offering these young prospectives um, big contracts to stay in the US rather than going places like Australia's NBL, for instance. A- AKA he wants what more a- money. Yeah, what a dick. but this is interesting because <laughs> I'm jealous. What a dick. <laughs> it's interesting because Alexander, you just said before that Lamelo has now bought out one of Australia's NBL teams, the oh. Hawks. So if he's bought them out, which mm. apparently someone's actually contesting his bid, by the way, we'll we'll stay on top of that. But do, I think if Lamelo buys the team, he's going to then promote US players to come over to his team as well. Yeah, so we've he's going to be about like, that. but he can only he can only bring over two players at most. That's the thing. Yeah. Can he? There's a limitation. Mm. Whereas the G League, G League, there's no limitation on how many players can go there. Well, um, they might have just done it. They might have just swindled the whole They might thing. go um, three. They might increase it to three per. Um, but like yeah, saying that, but saying that, like just showing that uh, top prospects coming to Illawarra, then that might bring the top prospects to the other teams in the league as yeah. well. Yeah. So, so you, you want to end up with more players uh, over Yeah, there. a lot. And he could um, be the actual like if Lamelo's plays this right, he could be the actual agent that funnels all the top um things, uh, all the top players through and spreads them out throughout the uh, NBL if he does want, it right. Like you want to talk about, about balls, right? He could play. He could do that for the whole of um like overseas basketball. Yeah, in, in I, I've I've done it. He could create an agency. He he could create an agency. Hire like two or three agents to go. Like I've done it. I know exactly what it is. I played in Europe. I played in Australia. Go through my agents. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if um, Le, uh, who's the dad, Lavar? Yeah. I wonder yeah. if he is the actual mastermind behind these. Maybe. If he, if his vision. No. No. I, I still like so. Lavar. I still like Lavar. Is he? Is he if I, he was the mastermind, he would have taught everyone. Oh. No, I tell you what. I think. I think Lavar, and I, I, I think this is a little bit deep, but I, <laughs> I think Lavar would have been the same type of mastermind in his day. But I think it's really hard to be a mastermind of a world that you're not necessarily like. He's he's right. only learning this experience through his sons. Like he's not actually experiencing and seeing everything the same way they do. So their like information to make decisions on is completely different. Is I, I want to see. I, think I hear he, what you're saying. I think he's I hear what you're saying. In a way, like I because decisions he's made have been somewhat to the benefit of his sons, debatably. Yeah, but yeah. like some of the decisions are inarguably beneficial to them. Um, but I think like the business moves, not necessarily his. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's quite interesting. Basically, this Levar single-handedly, right, has created this NBA change by sending his sons overseas and then to Australia and RJ Hampton's parents as well. Um, <laughs> and and uh, quietly, quietly, RJ Hampton's parents. Right, which has then forced this move. Well, he he. What did he create that league? Wasn't that league the ball life? Yeah, whatever. What's it? The was uh, it? J- B- JBL. JB. Is that still going? No. Um. So that I I don't know if that's not going because of its own merit or if it's not going because of what happened with the Big Baller Brand legal issues. Um, yeah. Right. Right. But right. okay. Apparently, Big Baller Brand's coming back now that it's all settled. So who knows? That league could come back. But with this move with the G League, I feel like that was going to be what the g league's trying to do with these players yeah 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 but with less money and less ability so i don't think it would necessarily i don't think there's a space for it to come back now yeah so like that jbl league was created just to show that um or whatever like that something could happen with the ncaa still was still running so like it, it, it's hard for like you said it's hard for people to see something that doesn't exist but when you create something even though it's like a flop it was enough for people to go hang on a sec it's yeah. been done without the finances without the backing with the backing and the proper leadership could this be something and obviously um the g league the commissioner thinks there is this is the way it's- to go it's going to be interesting as well because they're talking about eradicating the one and done rule, meaning you could go straight from high school to the league anyway, and that looks like it will come into effect in about 2023. So this change, you could argue, is like, oh, it's, it, it'll make a difference for a couple of years, not really. But then you have a situation where if the top, top prospects are going straight to the league, 
then you have a vacuum of top prospects. Do the next tier of prospects go to the G League or do they go One to their minute college? warning. Because if now the, the second tier are now going to the G League, you're going to end up in a situation where the NCAA college basketball is going to have like no players getting drafted in the NBA, which means the incentive to go there lessens even more, which if top athletes don't go to these schools... now. Basketball's not the biggest American college sport American football is, so that would have it would be interesting to see what happens in that side of things with sport right. with this route. But if basketball becomes a domino of top athletes not going to college, that's gonna change the entire university system in America because people like regular students go to a university to support a team. Like it's it's and a big deal over there. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell. <laughs>